What's going on everybody? Party back with another video and today as you can see I just showed that we're doing the review of the Cinch Gaming Tournament Controller, eSports Tournament Controller. Uh, I've had it a week now uh, so I feel like it's as much as I play Xbox it's plenty of time to get a uh, pretty solid review and uh, just give you my thoughts on the controller. Uh, overall like, um, I mentioned in the unboxing, it's a. I just got the very, very simple version. Um, I just threw like a little grip on this because the controller I was using before, I was using one, so I, I got used to it. So I had to throw it on here. Um, the, the analog sticks that I have are the original Xbox analogs, uh, so they feel good. They work fine. They're amazing. Um, there's I didn't get like a cinch analog. I don't even know if they have those. Honestly, I didn't look, but. Um, yeah, I just got the basic edition. There's no grips on the back or anything like that. It's just a basic controller with just the buttons. Uh, overall, I really I like this controller so far. It it's, feels really sturdy. feels good. haven't had any issues with it whatsoever. Um, and the first thing I'm going to talk about is the buttons on the bottom. The, the two, you can't see them because of the, the lighting in here, I'm sure. But uh, the two buttons on the back, which is what makes this controller the tournament controller. Um, it allows you to keep your thumbs on the see if I can get this here. Keeps your thumb on the uh, analogs so you don't have to move your fingers or move your thumb off of the you know, analog to press the A button to double jump like Advanced Warfare or uh, hit the B button to 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 melee um, in situations. So it just gives you better uh, reaction time, better um, it's better quickness uh, and allows you to, in games like Advanced Warfare, allows you to double jump while being able to keep full control um, of aiming or, you know, full control of your gun as you're shooting and things of that nature. Uh, they're, they're really nice. They're, they feel really good. They're easy to press, uh, but you can definitely, I mean, you, you have to put pressure to, to hit it, but not a ton. Like, it, it's a really simple click. Um, it's like if you were to press a key on your keyboard, for example. It's really easy, feels really smooth, feels nice. There's no stress to the movement or anything like that. Um, but, you, I mean, you definitely have to press it. Um, it feels good. It works fantastic. I definitely recommend getting one. Um, again, the overall feel is great. I, I don't have any issues with it slipping out of my hand again because it's a normal Xbox controller. I didn't have an issue with that before. Um... So yeah, it feels good. Buttons work great. Uh, the effectiveness of the controller so far, I'm I'm actually still getting used to it. Um, it still feels awkward at times, but I also I mean I played Claw um, for a really really long time. If you don't know what Claw is, um, it's basically where you move you you use your ring your right ring finger for the trigger. Your middle finger goes on the uh, bumper, which is like your grenade, and then your index finger um, presses your Y, X, B, A, Y, X, A, and B. I don't know what, somehow I messed it up in my head there. Um, so that way it's the same, the same sort of deal. Your finger, your, your thumb does not have to move off of the analog stick. Um, it's, it's said that that can actually hinder your hand after a while, which I guess is kind of like an awkward, an awkward, <laughs> gotta get better at showing this off, but it, it's, it, it's an awkward position for your hand to be in, so I guess it put, it puts strain on the hand, uh, which I can see, um, but I got really, really comfortable with that, so it's been a little more difficult for me, I guess, to switch to just playing, playing back to normal. Um, I play with my middle, or my index finger as my trigger finger and the grenade finger, um, because to me, having my middle finger as my trigger finger, it makes it harder, it makes it more of like a stretch to hit that button, I guess. And if I have it towards not a stretch, then my middle finger, like I end up hitting my, the, the trigger. So like in situations where like, I, I feel like it will be bad in situations cause I'm trying to, that's the melee, that's my melee button. So I'm like meleeing as I'm shooting, which counterbalances itself. I think is what I'm trying to say. Um, so yeah, it's I use my index finger as my trigger finger. Um, so it's just it's been a process for me getting used to playing normal again. Um, 
So my aim has been a little wonky. It's been off. I'm still working on it. Um, just because I got so used to playing playing claw. So like your thumb. I mean, technically, if I feel like it shouldn't make a difference, but for some reason it does. It just feels awkward. Um, but I feel like with more with more practice and more time put in to, to using it, I'll I'll be fine. Uh, it's gonna work great. Um, and uh, it'll definitely give an advantage over not having the buttons or not playing claw uh, because again you don't have to move your thumb. Um, I definitely think this controller is worth it. It is pretty pricey and Xbox is going to be releasing their own um, controller soon with the uh, with the with their own sort of triggers I guess but from what I from what I understand Xbox is, is uh, $150 for theirs uh, and this one was yeah, like 130 with shipping, um, which so it's still pricey, but you're still gonna save 20 dollars. Um, and according to uh, Nate Shot and some of the other pros who have actually held the the Xbox version, um, they say it's 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 good, but the buttons are too easy to press for the way that they hold it. Um, so that it says they say that they just press the buttons when they don't mean to, um, which really just kind of throws off their game. So I had an itch on my ankle. Um, but yeah, so I really like this controller. I think it was definitely worth it. Um, I haven't... I mean, my friend had a scuff for his PlayStation 4, and I uh, I used that some, but obviously not to the extent because it wasn't my controller. Um, and uh, his, his broke, which is... And I, I read a lot of reviews on... Um, Scuff having really bad customer service for, for non-pro players and just having issues with their controllers, which is why I decided to go with Cinch, uh, because I hadn't heard anything, you know, about their service or about anything, you know, bad with their controllers. So that's kind of, you know, I'm experimenting here. Um, and I'm, I'm really enjoying this controller. I need to put in more practice time, uh, but it's, I think it's definitely worth it. And I'm excited to, to see where this, you know, where I can go with this controller and, uh, how everything works out with it. Uh, I think I've covered everything that I wanted to talk about in this in this review. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I probably talked way more than I should have, um, but if you guys have watched any of my other videos, it's kind of understandable because I I talk a lot. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, that's gonna wrap this one up, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos. That also lets me that that you enjoyed this, of course, and uh, you know I'll continue making videos. Leave a comment down below if you'd like. Um, my hair looks dumb. You like, I don't know, you don't like me, whatever. Comment anything you like. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one.